Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Tonight we're going to do a fun little project. I got a new um, die in the mail probably about three weeks ago and I've been waiting to use it um, because I had to press some flowers. I brought my coffee up um, with me tonight and I had a very busy day out in the gardens weeding, mowing, blowing um, the driveway. I was out there from oh, probably about nine o'clock this morning until 4.30 this afternoon. It was just, it was a glorious day. Um, oh my gosh, I don't think it even got above 72. We had those beautiful big white <clears throat> clouds in the sky and um, it was sunny. And, you know, one thing led to another um, and I just, I didn't want to come in. I planned on coming in to make videos in the afternoon, but it was just, it was just glorious outside. So I'm on five acres here and there's always a lot to do um, in the yard. And we had three days of rain. It was just a deluge of water. Um, so it was windy today. It was nice. It's actually more windy now than it was earlier. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to blow um, the drive we have 450 feet of driveway and I needed to get that blown um, we have a lot of caterpillars unfortunately in our trees and they're they're decimating them and there's small little pieces of leaves all over everywhere um, so I wanted to get it cleaned up and then I got mowing I've got five lawns that need to be mowed and I got almost all of them done um, today and then a lot of weeding because of the rain so tonight I want to, um, first I want to thank you for joining in and um, following along, subscribing, commenting. I truly appreciate it. Um, but this tool that I, I received, I'm going to take a sip and I'm going to set this aside. The die that I, I received um, that I've been waiting to use is the Shabby Basics Vintage Slide and it's by Sam Poole, Craft Dies by Sam Poole. And I will put this in my link. I found out about this through Tape and Twine on Instagram, Michelle Ray. And she recently opened up an Etsy shop and she's an artist. Um, she does wonderful little mini a lot of different art that she does. You should check out her um, Instagram. Again, I'll put her her information in my description. But I saw Michelle post these on Instagram, and then she did a YouTube video, and she mentioned these. Um, I got mine at scrapbooks scrapbook.com. And I think it was $18. They're hard to come by. Um, so you may have to do a little searching for these. I know Creative Expressions, they do, I think they offer them, but I think they want $20 or $22 for it. Um, so I thought we would play with these. And Michelle did little um, specimen cards. So... <clears throat> I wanted to, I went out probably a month ago and I picked a bunch of flowers, <clears throat> wild flowers, out of my different areas of my house and the side yard, the woods. And I pressed all of these flowers. And I thought I would make some of these and put the flowers in them. Um, I'd like, I want to start with the daisies because I'd really like to put these, a couple of these in my Lazy Daisy um, sewing journal that I'm making. So I thought we could play with this tonight for a little bit and I'll see how, how it works. Um, so I'm going to set the daisies aside. I did cut one out and I cut this out on my big shot. Um, and it's fairly easy to, to cut. 
and it also gives you a slide what they call a slide of uh, just a vintage slide um, just poking this paper out here from the black and then here is the slide here um, which is fun you can after you poke everything out um, these would be you know cute little pieces to embellish and then you have this little tiny guy that comes out of here so and this would be fun to you know incorporate in, in artwork or whatever um, these are really cute so I thought that we would cut some and I'm doing I'm doing mine on double-sided paper so I went through my six by six pads and I even though this is a Christmas one the way it will cut out I don't think you'll see these will just be nice little decorations um, and I just <clears throat> I guess I have to decide if I want the burgundy on the outside and then the cream on the inside or the cream on the inside and then the burgundy maybe I can do one of each and then I chose this one here I thought this I definitely want this on the outside and the blue on the inside and then I picked this I thought this would be fun because I could um, do it like this and get some I'd like to see how this comes out and then I picked just a plain blue one so let me grab my big shot and I'm gonna set this right here like that I think you'll be able to see okay and I'm having the coffee so I can stay up a little bit a little bit later tonight um, I'm doing laundry right now I want to get my laundry done so um, this is a magnetic this is your big this is my big shot and then this here is a magnetized area so if you have thinlets um, this is really nice they don't slip off and you'll you'll hear this I'm going to do the blue one first um, you'll hear this adhere to it see and that's magnetized so if you have little tiny thinlets you don't have to worry about them going anywhere all, right. all my plates are so old some have actually cracked in half. These are pretty worn. I've, I've used this a lot. Okay, so there's the little slide. And then here is the little specimen. This will be fun too. These will be fun to play with. And then the little extra piece. So... I'm going to I'm going to start right up here because I think this would be fun to get just a little and I'm not going to use um, my slide on this because I want to try to get if I put that there one two I think I'll start this up a little bit higher I'd, I'd really like to try to get three on this one or three out of this one just to see what it would look like okay I got to stand up for this to get it throat going and I think I'm going to do it this way because that's buckling Sometimes I swear these things are going to snap and break on me. Okay, 
things. So there's this. Oh, that's pretty. With the, um, I forgot that has the line. I'm just going to tear this off. The line on the inside. So that's fun. I'm actually going to flip this one because it's curved. It's, I don't know why they do that. Oh, isn't that an awful sound? It makes me nervous. Okay, that's fun. Oh, this is really fun. Look at that. And then that's the back. Well, these are going to be these are going to be quite cute to um I think I want this here to create a lot of fun different little little things with these like these very cute and then there's the other little one there all right we'll do these two so I want this I want the blue on the inside and this one I will I'm going to do two of these He's bucking on me. So there's a little. That's pretty with the blue on the inside. All right. And then here's a. I'll just poke this out here. There's a little slide and I'm going to pop this over on this side and do a blue. I'm going to get this in the middle as well. Whoop. Just knocked my little light. There's the blue, and we'll do, let me just wipe these off, we'll do the red and then we'll be good to go. Alright, so I think I'm going to do the, I'll do the red on the outside with the white on the inside here. since I've used my big shot there's that there's the I do have another die um, I'm gonna do the white here or the cream I do have another die that is a um, it's similar to this but it's much smaller and I've made some really cute um, Christmas ephemera uh, with those I have a teeny tiny miniature one 
Um, I sold a lot of those on my in my Etsy shop. And I should start making things for Christmas and getting it stocked. These would be very cute. And then here's the white. So, all right, I'm going to set this down here. And we'll take a look at all of these. And then we'll see what we what we want to do. I'll set the die over there. So <clears throat> these are all of the, I'm going to set the slide film. I'm going to set them aside, but aren't these cute? These are really cute. So I'm going to set those aside over here. Oh, another one. And then um, I think these are adorable. There's so many things that you could you could do with these and incorporate them. So I'm going to set those aside. I'll be able to use those. And then here are all of the um, specimen slide cards. And these are really cute. The only thing I did not pull, I have to get a piece of acetate or something to put over the top. Um, but maybe we can just work on a couple not using the uh, the daisies and then we can have a part two and we can work with the, the actual flowers. Um, and I'm trying to think what... Um, let me just run over to my, my goodie bag and let me see what, oh, we could actually use some of these. These would be pretty in there if they're wide enough. I don't know if they're wide enough because of this. Um, let me just go look in my my goodie box and I'm going to pull some things that we can um, work with with this and I'll be right back. Okay so what I did was I went through my books and this is a really a really cool book. Um, it's called In and Out of the Garden Book of Days by Sarah Mitta and I learned about this book through Mrs. Cog. She, I'm not sure if she used it in one of her projects, um, but Elizabeth talked about this and there was another book and I was able to find both of them. And I've been wanting to use this. Um, it's a gardening book. It's a diary. And obviously it's, um, you know, you write in it, but the, the little images in here are really really cute and I don't need to use it as a diary because I have my gardening book so I think the images in here will fit just perfectly um, in these little specimen slides and then I can even take some of these out and use in my um, in my gardening diary my journal. So aren't these cute? Look at these little pea pod people. These are so cute. I'll have to make some of these and, and put them in my Etsy shop. I think these here that I make, I'm going to put these in my shop. Um, All the little gardening people. These are adorable. This one I will I will use this in my um, I will use that. I think that's cute. In my uh, my journal for. 
sorry. I'm just seeing. I just want to make sure I'm not cutting into the other side. Um, but I'll put that in my la the Lazy Daisy journal. So I think for now, I think I'm going to pick some of these cute little images here. Let's see what we have for these are cute. The fruits. I had the Edith. I had my Edith book in my hand and I was going to cut that and I'm like, mm, I have two of them. I just can't, I can't cut Edith up. I'm not ready yet. Little bumblebee. Well, I think these two little images are very cute. So I'm going to, and I think these will fit. They'll be lovely in there. So I'm going to take these out with any further ado I don't want to make this a three hour video either um, and I think we will continue and I will take out these here um, this page of daffodils I can cut straight and not ruin the image that I want to use. All right, so we'll set that aside. And I think the best way to do this is I'm going to measure so we really only need two inches, not even two inches, because that will have to come down under there. So about an inch and three quarter by two and a half. So inch and three quarter. And I want to write that down because um, I will so and um, inch and three quarter. What did I say by? Order by two and a half. Okay. So I wonder if we can get this little that'd be cute. Put that march that little march right in there. down just a little bit. I don't want to mess it up. It's better to go a little bit. I guess we're just going to have to do it a little bit at a time. I don't want to take too much either. There we go. There's March. All right, so now we can do the, um, what they say here, two and a half. I'll go a little bit longer than two and a half. There we go. Isn't that cute? All right, so that one's cut. And again, we're going to... little bit off of the top of here. So an inch and three quarter. I'm going to do just a little bit more, almost two, till I'm sure. 
I'm just going to take that little bit off here where I, okay. Okay. And two and a half. I'm going to go a little bit bigger again, just to make sure. Better, better safe than sorry. There we go. All right, so that one's done. And then this is cute. So we're going to do, I'm going to start this one just to cut this down here. I'm just taking any one to measure here. All right, so we're going to. Two and a half, a little bit more than two and a half. Okay, an inch and three quarter. Bring that up just a little bit because this is on the bottom here and still a little bit I'm gonna get it right on that okay that's good okay and we'll do one more we'll finish these two here I'll get these cut um, All right, so let's see. This is going to go right at that bottom mark. So an inch and three quarter. Yeah, I'm going to do it a little bit longer. I'm going to, so I see where I'm at here. down just a tad right to that inch and three quarter and two and a half just want to see where I'm at where I want to position it and I think that's good I'll take just a smidgen off of the side here all right, well, that one's done. And then the last one. All right. And obviously when you have um, your, You know, you're, you're putting in a full page. You don't have to worry about what the back is. Then you can actually, if you want to want to change it up, you can have this on the blue. So, um, okay, so we're going to bring this up just a tad. And that is the inch and three quarter. Hopefully I'm not shaving too close. That was close, but that's okay. By two, what did I say? Two and a half. And we'll bring this down just a little bit. Okay, so we'll work with those. And then these two, we will set aside. These can be used for something else here, the March, and then this one here. And then I have this one here with 10, 11 in the flowers. So we will hang on to those and put those in the 
reuse pile. Okay. All right. So now we can play with these a little bit. We'll do a we'll do a couple. Um, I like this one here. I think this is cute. I think that's adorable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I will glue this down. I'll get it placed right where I want it and I'll get it glued down on the inside. Um, and actually, yeah, I'll do that. And I am going to end up stitching around these, but I will do that after I get everything set. that up just a little bit there that's good isn't that cute and then um, I will I will stitch around here and I'll see what we what we do here I have all these little tiny um, specimen cards and things in here that we can always add to the outside with little, I'm sure there's little gardening and cute little one says nay I know I have all these little seed things in here. That's cute. Those little. That's cute. Figure one. We have the little index. There's another little May. I don't know if I have any for May, but. All right, we'll pull a few up, just a couple of these little ones out. And um, last night when I was going through here, all I found were little gardening ones. It's funny how that works. Okay, all right. All right, okie dokie. All right, we'll just set those aside. But, you know, maybe something like, just keep it simple, something like this, or a little number down on the bottom. But we'll get these set in here. Okay. And remember, if you're working with your um, your art glitter glue, it dries fast. So whatever you're setting inside, you're going to have to kind of work. You're going to have to work fast. I think if I put this up closer to the top. So we have to go right up towards the top there to get the full view of the basket. Okay. All right, there's that one. And I might want... that one here. 
or maybe I'll put it in this one. I like it in that one. Okay. And the other um, advice I'm going to give is, and I'm sure that you all do this, but even if you don't, if your style isn't um, like someone else's and you say, well, I don't really want to watch their video because I don't, I don't make what they do or I don't make junk journals or I don't you know, I, I don't do what they do. I still suggest you watch their videos. Like with Mrs. Cog, um, I forgot what she was doing. I, I don't know if she was making something with beads. I don't, I'm not sure she was working in her junk journal. She, she could have been. But if I hadn't watched that video, I would have never found out about this book. Um, so again, I mean, it's a good idea to, you know, if you don't, you know, don't, don't limit yourself, I guess is what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. I love this one. It's got tiny, tiny writing. I have to get my, I want to tell you what it says. It says, Strow me the ground with daffodils. You know, it says, Strow me the ground with daffodillies in cowslips, in king cups, in love lilies. Spencer. That's cute. Um, I think he will. I think he'll go in this one because of the stalks coming up. And on my other um, slide films or whatever, specimen cards, whatever you want to call them. Lots of times I'll wrap washi tape around the outside, um, but I'm, I'm not going to do that with these because they're decorated enough. I want all of those words to show. And again, this glue sticks very quickly. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to take that up because the flower, I want the flower. The flower is more important to me than the words. So let's do this again. But you can see how quickly this dries. There we go. That's better. Okay. All right. And then the last one. I think I'll just put this one in the blue. I think that'll be nice.
There. There. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All right. So let's get these embellished. And um, I think I'm going to I'll jazz these up just a little bit. So tomorrow, I'm going to, tomorrow is, um, I won't tell you what day it is because this won't air until next week, um, but tomorrow I'm going to head back out um, into the gardens, do a little bit more weeding. And I have some poplar trees growing up in a large mulched area. And I have to get them out. So tomorrow's going to be a shovel, a shovel and heave ho pull day. I had to do that today with a there was a elm tree. Um, this is kind of dark, but I'm still going to do just a little bit behind our basketball court and of course it was growing in a spot it shouldn't have been so I had to take care of that and heave ho my back is tired tonight all right so these are done okie dokie all right so now I will go ahead and um, I'll glue these down And I'm trying to stick as close to the outside edge as possible because when I stitch these, um, I have a thing about my needle going through glue or tape. Okay, so there's that one. So I'll pull different paper um, for the my flowers, and we can come once I get my acetate. We can come back and do the uh, my pressed flowers. And we'll see how that will work out. And I also notice on this that the inside corner. Um, these have broken through where it must have just been the way they so maybe I'll do something fun here maybe put a couple little brads or something on these um, because I think they're just supposed to indent so I'll set that one. That must have been how I had it. There must have been too much pressure. Yeah. 
these are so cute. I love that little, the little one in the flower pot. Yeah, this one has the, must just be the pressure, must be the plates. I might have to get a smaller plate. Because this one broke through on the top. Um, hmm. Well, that's not good. That's not good. So maybe I could just get a couple little, but then I don't know if I want the brads on the other side. Oh, I know what we could do here. I know what we could do there. That would be cute. All right. So let me get some twine. And we can um, we can run some twine through there. I got my punch. I don't know if I'm going to be able to line it up, though. That's the only thing um, with this punch here. If I can find... the white part. There we go. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Perfect. Once I find it. There it is. There. Okay. Let's try that again. That one didn't poke through very, there we go. And then we can put, um, we can put some twine on there. If I can find where it starts. How about this green here? It's in the bottom. It's like trying to find <laughs> where your saran wrap starts. They don't make it easy, that's for sure. They don't make it easy. So I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a piece off it here. I'm not going to fool around with it. I am not going to fool around with it. And a little bit bigger. There we go. See, it's that glue. The glue wasn't dried. That glue wasn't dried. And we will just, I guess we can just tie this maybe up towards the top. That would be cute, wouldn't it? Or maybe towards the bottom. If we 
and tie it down towards the bottom. And I think I'm just going to knot it. That's cute. Bring it up a little bit. There. Have those hanging down. You could put a charm on there. There's a lot of things that you could do with that. That's cute. And then we can we can put a little we can just put a little um, label on it. There say sample. Maybe that sample, that sample's cute. Yeah, that's adorable. That's cute. That's the ticket right there. That's the ticket. And I'm kind of really liking the uh, jute on the side. And where she falls is where she's going to go. That's cute. Just very basic, simple. That's very cute. But yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Uh, I'm liking the jute there. And I think we'll do it on this one as well because this is, again, um, showing. Let's see if I can find that handy dandy little white area. Come on. This one's a little bit trickier. Wonder if I could find. There we go. Let me see if I could find the... Uh... This one's tricky because of... Um... Oh, because of the... Uh... Let's try this. Let's try a little black dot. There we go. Much better. Much better. All right. Okay. And let's see what color for this one. How about the, this green is fun. And I think I'm going to have to do the same thing on this one here. Because... It's a pain in the butt. I'm going to take it up here. There we go.
All right, I'm going to finish up after this one. Um, and then I'll continue to work and finish these by myself. But I think you get the hang of it and what you can and what you can do, the different possibilities. And um, But yeah, I just, I wanted to share these with you because I just think these are really, really cute. And again, I'll put the, the book that I'm using on these, I'll put that in the, um, just get a little bit tighter. I'll put that in the description. Um, so you can, you know, try to find that. I'm not, I forgot where I got mine. I don't know if it was thrift books or where. That's cute. And then this one we will do. What will we do? Shall we add some red to it? No, I think I'll just continue with the, the little numbers here. I'll cut this index. A little index one might look cute. Index A. Well, thanks for joining in, everybody. Um, I appreciate it. And I will continue with my um, that's so cute. Maybe I'll just I'm going to put that one right in the center, the index A. I think that's cute, cute, cute. Um, I'll continue on with the Lazy Daisy journal and you can continue watching along with that so there you go all right so i will finish these three and then um we just completed these two so I want to thank you again for joining in, and I'll see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.